Let us learn about sales orders in SAP SD. The topics we'll be covering today they are how to create a sales order, how to change a sales order, how to display a sales order, how to search for a sales order, document flow and the structure of a sales document. In the previous previous section, uh, we talked about the order si order to cash cycle, where we seen that from how the starting from the sales order, it will go to the next step for shipping and goods issue and billing. So in this topic, we're going to focus on sales order only, and then we'll move move on further to the other steps in the next videos. So let us start with the business business example. You are a member of the project team that is implementing the sales and distribution processes in SAP ERP. To get an overview of the several process steps from order to cash, you would like to know about the sales order in SAP. Sales orders. So as we have seen before, like in the previous videos, I've shown you uh, briefly about how to create the order but in this lecture we going to uh, into deep details about the sales orders order and its structure as well so basically a sales order is is a is a document that will have all the information about your the customer the material that we're going to deliver when we're going to deliver from what shipping point we're going to deliver pricing billing information and all that so that's the information that will be contained in the sales order so let me create a sales order first and then we'll talk about the theory uh, about the sales order. So to create the sales order, you can go to the menu path. Uh, the transaction is VA01, VA02, VA03 to create change and display. If you want to see the menu path, you can go to logistics, sales and distribution, sales, order, VA01, open it. So use the order type as, uh, you can see there are many options here, but for now use the option as OR only. You can manually type or you can search here. OR, standard order. Use the standard sales organization 1000, 10 as a distribution channel and division as 0, 0. Press enter. Now, here I will enter my sold to party number that I created earlier. If I press enter, you can see there's a yellow color warning at the bottom of the screen saying enter PO number. When there is a warning, any warning in SAP, you can press enter to ignore it or you can complete whatever it's asking. For example, in this case, I can press enter to ignore it or I can also optionally enter the PO number. Now I will enter my material number that I created before, laptop Dell 11 and also I will enter say quantity as for example 2 and press enter when you press enter it will do availability check and saying that okay I will deliver the uh, order on 8th I will say okay done um, you need to make sure that you enter the plant as well so here is by default copying the plant from the master data, I'll show how it's copying from the master data later on. Um, <clears throat> but um, if it's not here, if you do not enter any plant here, then it will not do the availability check. So you need to make sure it's, it's doing the availability check. Now after that, at the bottom there's a message. If I click on that message saying that there is a exactly one quotation for this material, and that is a quotation number. It's telling me that there is one open quotation for this order for this combination of material and customer so that means either I can refer to that uh, quotation or I can continue with that one so if you want to continue with, with as it is without referring then you can just create the order like the way I have created if you want to refer it then what you can do I can cancel it and I can start the order again so I'll go to slash and VA01 to create the order again and this time if you want to refer it to to a quotation then click on the button create with reference on the top if i click on create with reference it will pop up this screen 
on the top you can see different tabs for example you can reference with respect to a quotation you can re reference to order contract scheduling agree agreement billing document we'll talk about all these later on but for now we will refer it to uh, uh, to the quotation that we created before now here you can enter the quotation number if you do not remember you can search here as well so if i search say sold to party is i think 301623 enter sold to party click on search button here it will show you the all the open quotation so that's the quotation i created before 200000248 so double click on that to select it so it will now select that now there are two options again here you can see the copy copy button and second you can see the item selection if i select the copy button it will copy all the items from the quotation it will not ask me that which item you want to copy say for example if there are more than one items in the quotation and if I select copy it will straight away copy it's doing the availability check but it will straight away it will copy see it didn't ask me that which item you want to copy if even if there are more than one uh, item in the quotation we had only one item in the quotation but I'm talking if there is more than one item in the quotation then and if you want to select that then let me start it again again if I create with reference if I enter the order number uh, the quotation number here if you select the second button which is item selection if I select that this time it's showing me all the items from the quotation <coughs> and it's showing me the tick box see the tick box so if there's two items for example here I can select two items or more than two items what I will do let to show this feature better I will open the quotation VA22 and and I will and I will show you how to do this so that's the material oh, yeah, that's the one so here if I enter for example if I copy the same one uh, just assume that it's a different item but for now I'll just copy the same item and I'll just save it saying edit yeah there's no plant here so if I complete the data make sure you enter the plant press enter continue edit in completion log this is all complete so if I save it now and then if I create the order so now we'll create the order so click, click on create with reference enter a quotation number and this time if I select item selection it will show me all items from the quotation and ask me which item you want to copy and what quantity so for example I can untick the second item that means I don't want to copy the second item I only want to tick, uh, uh, copy the first item and here I can also change the quantity so for example out of 10 I can say okay I just want to copy 2 so if I click on copy next it's showing you the sales order screen where it's doing the, the availability check click on copy and then you can see it copied the first item quantity to press enter <laughs> there's a warning for the PO number you can enter the PO number something or you can ignore it by pressing enter that's it now if I click on um, incompletion log you can see it's, there's no it's saying document is, is complete that means everything is good so that's how you can create the order so let me save the order and I will come back to the order and talk about more details so if I save it it will generate a number so you can see order number is 15580 is saved so you can go to VA02 transaction it will remember the last number or you can same way you can search here for example 301623 by customer number by material number you can search so that's the one I just created that one 
now that is a sales order